With the College of Engineering at Michigan Tech, one of the unique things that we do is we have a common first year engineering program. And so what does that mean? So that means that all incoming students uh, really experience the same fundamental or foundational uh, learning experience. And so we group schedule our students into classes. And so what that means is we'll take a group and we put them in all the same classes together. Right, and so we do that because we want them to see familiar faces in all their classes, right, and then f have them form an immediate connection and learning community. Also what we do is within that group of 20 to 24 students that have this common schedule, is they get a very important person that sort of goes along with them in their educational journey. And we call that person a LEAP leader, which stands for Learning with Academic Partners. So our LEAP program is embedded near peer mentoring program and we have two components to our first year engineering courses. We have a studio session where we have up to 120 students and for each cohort of 20 to 24 students uh, we have a LEAP leader assigned to them. So during the studio sessions our LEAP leaders help monitor how the students are doing on their in-class activities. So then we do also have another component which are the LEAP sessions and in those LEAP sessions uh, the LEAP leaders plan and facilitate those sessions and it's designed to be an active collaborative review session. Some key elements of the LEAP session are the LEAP leaders learn in the studio session where the students are struggling the most, what is the most challenging content of that class for that, for that particular group of students, and then tailor their session to meet the needs of the students. Um, and it's meant to be peer-to-peer -peer interactive, it's meant to be active learning, and it's meant to get the students to dive deeper into those concepts and really understand what's going on there. And so that's really important um, for the students to build their confidence in the material and also to perform better on the, that material in class. So one cool thing about the LEAP program I think is it's a flipped classroom so students are encouraged to do some of the heavier learning outside of the classroom and then when they come into the classroom we have a bit more hands-on in-depth problems and the reason we do that is because then when they're working through those problems they already have the base level knowledge that anyone can give them that a two-minute video can give them so they're able to ask the deeper questions and have a team of LEAP leaders and the professor there to help them through it. We're a hands-on university and we go ahead and start throwing projects at them. Every one of our students are handed an Arduino kit day one. So they have this Arduino and electronics kit and we start throwing them at projects, teaching them about the design process. And the goal is we want to set them up for these early victories. Right? We want them quickly to be doing things where they can have this positive feedback loop. We're intentional because we want them to start building their self-efficacy in engineering and we want them right, to start building that identity as an engineer. So what we do to help build this foundation is we do something that, that we call Explore Before Explain, where we give a little experience that the students can, can work themselves through and then we say, okay, now that you've had this, this device or this program, explore, change the variables, look at it. What happens when you change the values of A or B or C? And then what we do is also something called choose your own adventure. So we will, within the given day in, in our classroom, again, it's a very active classroom, flipped teaching model. We may give the students four or five different choices of, of challenges. We're educating the technical leaders of the future and they're going to be uh, implementing the things that our faculty now are, are just putting together, the, the uh, great things that their classmates are, are going to be doing in 10 or 15 years and just to see what they're going to be doing. It's going to be an amazing world that they create. I think the future of the College of Engineering is really exciting at Michigan Tech partly because we are going through a general education reform right now at Michigan Tech. We've been working on this reform now for four years, and we've rebranded it. No longer are we calling it Gen Ed, which just sounds like something you need to tick, tick boxes off and you know, make sure you have a certain number of courses in each thing. We're calling it Essential Ed, because not only does an engineer need to have you know, the technical skills, 
but they need all the other skills uh, in life. And what essential ed or essential ed education reform is allowing us to do is allowing the students to integrate their, their coursework in the humanities and arts into their engineering coursework and really leave here as a, as a holistic student, as a student that is well-rounded, that has experiences that are linked and integrated together. And that's really what I'm excited about, to see these students and how our essential education integration is really gonna support these students, not only as they are students, but as they progress and continue their, their lifelong learning and education outside of Michigan Tech.